Why is saying, up the RA bad? It basically means up the Irish Republican Army, and depending on where you're from that can create a heated political discussion. I definitely won't say it up north anyways. Well, saying up the RA might not be the best idea unless you're trying to start a heated political debate at your next family gathering. Stick to safer topics like the weather or who makes the best mac and cheese. It means of the Republican Army which is the IRA, an Irish paramilitary group who along with their enemies, the Loyalist Orange Men who engaged in decades-long acts of violence against each other and civilians caught in the middle. The IRA essentially ceased to exist after the Good Friday Agreement, but people have long memories that moron shouting up the RA and not understanding what it means is hilarious. Speaking as someone from Northern Ireland, we want absolutely nothing to do with that toad-faced cockwomble who can go fuck himself with a very large cactus. Saying yo you're supportive or a sympathizer of the IRA, Google the Troubles era in Ireland. Nigel Farage is a right-wing mouthpiece in the UK. His party, UKIP, was so poorly organized and ineffectual it fell apart despite having some huge and consistent donors. Basically anything you hear that man saying probably not good to repeat it. Yeah, it means IRA. I'm no apologist for Nigel Farage. I hate the man's policies and beliefs, but I do believe he was duped into saying this. He was basically trying to make money by selling birthday shoutouts and someone asked him to say it in a greeting to a mate. However, any UK politician, of far age's age, shows an amazing lack of knowledge about his own country and its involvement on the island of Ireland if he doesn't realize this is a contentious thing to say. So, no real surprise there, you tell me that he really did not know? In 1993 the provisional IRA whom you are referring to in, up the RA chance decided in their ongoing war against the UK and Northern Ireland, they would put a bomb in a bin in Warrington. Happily for the IRA it got some of the evil English. Three-year-old Jonathan Ball died at the scene. He had been in town with his babysitter, shopping for a Mother's Day card. The second victim, 12-year-old Tim Perry, was gravely wounded and died later in hospital. Where I am from, we don't openly support people who bomb toddlers. And may Jonathan Ball, Tim Perry and the rest of their victims rest in peace. The excellent song, Zombie, would be released by the Cranberries in reaction to it. X200B Source https colon en dot wikipedia dot org wiki warrington bombings aftermath ips colon en dot wikipedia dot org wiki warrington bombings aftermath x200b edit to be clear there was an ira that was legitimate and fought early 20th century for independence they are categorically not who people in 2024 chanting up the raw are referring to it's an Irish Larry Lewis slogan. Why is Far Aid shouting up the RA though? The IRA are an internationally recognized terrorist organization which use civilian targeting, intimidation, drug dealing, murder and brutality in order to ethnically displace the British descended people of Northern Ireland. American Redditors don't quite realize that you will absolutely get a crack if you say that shit in most places of England and people catch on to what you're saying. I think the RA is the same thing as the IRA. Not 100 on that, though. Got a link? The Republican Army? Why is it bad? Asked the Palestinians.